Basically, it's not an album that's a lot of house albums are like made in a way where it's um, <clears throat> basically 10, 10 songs on on, a, on an album, and it's you know it doesn't really have a story behind it. This album has a story. It's it's like it's almost like a book. You have to play it from the beginning to the end to fully understand and to get the the, the final message at the end. But yeah, it's quite a it's quite a it's quite a different album, man. And I'm, I'm keen to see what people think about it. Uh, in terms of features, <clears> there's <throat> been features from uh, Martin Iverson, uh, Ed Jazz, Zion, Shio, who's an amazing vocalist from Janisburg, uh, Busi, uh, Kabomo, uh, Lazarus Man, South African as well, Poet, amazing, Ovius, uh, Dave Martian, he's a beat maker from Johannesburg as well. Like you can tell, like it's there's there's quite a lot of new talent, and it's like talent that people have heard of, like the Ed Chaz, the Zaya, and the Busi, Kabomo, and then there's a new talent like uh, Dave Marsh and Shio, and Lazarus Man, and you know, yeah. I'm trying to think Sarai Jazz as well is there from the UK, <clears throat> but yeah, like it's it's yeah. quite a unique album. Yeah. So are, are you gonna do a tour for the album, or, or when, when does it, when is it yeah, gonna man, start? Yeah, like the the tour starts from this Friday. Um, the launch, the first album release party starts at Capital Underground on the yeah. 30th of September. And yeah, we're just going to tour the album throughout South Africa for the rest of the year. Then we're looking at dates in Europe for around March, April, May, June, July as well in Europe. But for now, I'm in South Africa. I'm pushing the album in South Africa. It's an album by, South, by a South African with, you know, collaborations from South Africans. So we're going to push the album in South Africa. It's our home. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. Did, did you do any record on the album as G Family? Cause G it, Family, no. It's been missing, no. man. What's happening to G Family? G Family, yo, brother, you brought up, you brought up old school stuff, man. G Family is like, yo, um, Mike, Mike is doing his thing. Uh, we haven't really made music for a very long time, but funny enough, there is a lot of influence from G Family. You can hear the, you can still hear part of G Family sound within me on this album, and um, it's. I, I would love to work on G Family material again. But I think when the time's right and when we both like in the same space, we just decided to take a break from tw we start the last album we did was in 2010. Since then we haven't worked on any new material. But um in the in time, in time, I think it's important for me right now. Because a large part of my career has been based on collaborations with Ed Jazz, G Family. It's time for me to, you know, do my thing solo, man. I'm just trying to tell people what I have I'm any special doing. song on the album? That, that's I think they're all special to me. Yeah. Like for me, every song, because like what I mentioned in my in my past comment, like was, it's it's a story. So if if I have a favorite a song, it's not like I'm being true to the story, you know. So every song and every sound, every piece is amazing to me. Every like thing means everything to me. So yeah, I don't have a favorite song. And then the title, what is the title? Title, Late Dreamer. I'm gonna let you listen to the album, oh, and okay. I'm gonna let you. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let you like, you know, I want people to listen to the album and, and like, then, get the the title, what it means. You oh, know? Okay. But yeah, basically, it's just um, just to put it quickly into context. Uh, Late Dream is more about uh, rising above stereotypes placed on people to fight things where people try and bring you down. It's an album of upliftment. It's an album of of hope, positivity, and and creativity, and just trying to lift people up, man. And, that's what house music did for me, so I need to do the same for house music. Okay. Thank you, man. Cool, man. Pleasure. Cheers. I'm sure, that's tight. Mm -hmm. In the nighttime event, we want it to be more spiritual and, and for the people, you know? To have that um, freedom to, at some point, I say to Ross, no, don't play this one. I've got this tune in my head, I'm not going to do this. Don't just, just step off me. Free yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Drop off, and then I'll, then I'll look at him and go, right. Mostly now, and it'll be the right time. Whereas at daytime, we've got 45 minutes to pack in the songs to make sure that we entertain the people.